Lesson 7 of Chapter 1 is the last programming assignment you're going to be working on in this chapter of ALICE. It's your chance to demonstrate what you've learned and to practice doing the four-step process on your own. You're still going to use the notes document to document the four-part, the four-step process for this, for this lesson. So open that now if you haven't done so already and put your name in the header. Our learning target for this assignment is to follow the four-step process in problem solving and design to create a swimming project in ALICE. Start with step one, which is to understand the problem. We're going to look at this at the, an example of what this program should do by watching this video. And when the video finishes on your notes page, write a couple of sentences, two or three sentences, that summarize what this project will do. Okay, so now you can stop the video and write your two or three sentences. Also in step one, to finish understanding the problem, you're going to identify the objects, do this in your notes, what characters and props are needed. You're also going to identify the actions, what actions are performed. So think about, are they saying things, turning, moving, those kinds of actions. So stop the video and finish your step one in your notes by identifying the objects and the actions. Step two is to design a solution. It's two parts, set up the scene and develop an algorithm. You're going to start by, start by doing a textual storyboard or algorithm. So remember, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step list of the actions that are happening. You're going to use your notes document to write your algorithm. So I'm going to play the video again, start and stop it as often as you need to, to write down the actions in your notes. Okay, that's the video. Now you're going to be adding your own ending to it because it just kind of ended there. So that's as far as the video is showing you and it's going to be up to you to come up with your own ending. Now you're going to set up the scene in Alice by starting a new world and adding your objects. Add your props too. You've already decided what you're going to need that's in your notes. Set up your world and then take a screenshot to include. Step three is to implement the design. You're going to use your storyboard to write the actual code. Remember to do incremental development. That means you're just going to write a few steps at a time and test while you go. Do not write the entire program at once. I also recommend that you put in some comments so every few lines that you're stopping to test might be a good time to add in a comment. The implementation is the act of translating an algorithm or storyboard into a computer program. Write the instructions or code by dragging the tiles into the code editor. When your code is complete, include a screenshot of the code in your notes document. And then step four is to test and revise. So when you're clicking that run button, it's going the computer will execute all the statements in my first method procedure and when you have done the revision that you need to, you should see your animations per your instructions. And you're going to add your own ending. 
when everything is working correctly. To complete your project, make sure that you add comments into your code at the top of the program that identifies you, the chapter, lesson, and the name. So these comments here at the top, they are required. If you haven't done them already, make sure you do them before you turn it in. Save the project as CH1, Chapter 1, Lesson 7, and your name. You're also going to save your notes document with your name. Turn in both parts of this Lesson 7, the notes and the program, to the backpack for a grade. Now your project can be slightly different if you'd like. It doesn't have to be the exact same project. It should be similar though. So we'll recognize it as being Lesson 7 and of course come up with your own ending. Be creative and have a good time.